is Sri Lanka. You have the floor. <clears throat> Thank you, Madam Chair, for giving me the floor. A distinguished delegates, esteemed members of this committee, uh, I ex uh, Sri Lanka remains steadfast in its commitment to combating terrorism and promoting peace, both within our borders and globally. Allow me to wish the Chair of the Sixth Committee for this session all the resolve it needs and wish that the Bureau will support the work of this committee with its innate sense of commitment and in a spirit of clo close partnership. We are confident that your extensive diplomatic experience will guide us towards a successful and productive conclusion, and my delegation assures you of all its cooperation. Madam Chair, preventing and countering terrorism requires a comprehensive and cross dimensional approach, encompassing critical aspects such as border control and management, countering the financing of terrorism, addressing intolerance, radicalization, and hate crimes, all of which while ensuring the protection, of course, of human rights. Now, it is essential, we say, to understand that terrorism cannot be associated with any particular religion, nationality, or ethnic group. However, we must acknowledge that terrorists often exploit religious solidarity, ethnic, uh, to commit crimes against humanity, targeting specific religious and ethnic communities. In this backdrop, we agreed at the 78th session that this important item was allocated to the Sixth Committee, whereas the relevance and urgency of this topic was duly recognized. We acknowledge the Assembly's recommendation to establish this working group to finalize the draft comprehensive convention on international terrorism. This initiative is vital, we say, for uniting our collective efforts to address and preventing the scourge of terrorism. Moreover, we recognize the productive dialogue and the collaboration among member states in addressing outstanding issues which can significantly advance the process and lead to effective solutions. Madam Chair, the, rise, the rising wave of postmodern terrorism presents new challenges for state relations and peacekeeping efforts. International law serves as a powerful tool in the unified fight against terrorist threats and attacks justified by ideologies or beliefs that undermine the fundamental principles of human dignity. Terrorist acts frequently transcend national borders, involving activities and actors from multiple countries. Given this complexity, strong coordination and cooperation among states at both regional and international level are essential for effectively combating this phenomenon. At the same time, understanding the underlying causes of terrorism is equally important, as factors such as misery, frustration, grievances, and despair often drive individuals towards radicalization. The proposed working, working group and its culmination to a convention offer, I say, a unique opportunity to address these root causes in a comprehensive manner. To mention one aspect, the social media. We cannot permit social media to be used as a platform for terrorist recruitment, a platform for the dissemination of false propaganda, including videos, articles, and manifestos of hate a medium for those of, of similar mind to connect and engage in radicalism and extremist views by putting in place mechanisms and treaties to prevent the expression of radical views without the fear of retribution, to use it as a medium to plan attacks uh, as, as we have seen it before. It is therefore conceded that it's surely a beneficial side like, uh, like a double-edged sword. We must instead exploit the potential of social media for the dissemination of counter-terrorism programs. Madam Chair, Sri Lanka's experience has demonstrated that socio-economic development, education, and community engagement can significantly mitigate these factors. We advocate for a holistic approach that integrates human rights and fundamental freedoms into our strategies to combat terrorism effectively, ensuring that our responses are both principled and effective. These are some of the thoughts that we like to see in the working group deliberations that can foster international cooperation and dialogue. Ms. Madam Chair, Sri Lanka's experience demonstrates that combating terrorism requires a focus on socioeconomic development, education, and community engagement. Providing access to education and job opportunities helps address marginalization and hopelessness, key drivers of radicalization. We prioritize community initiatives that promote social cohesion, understanding, and inclusivity, recognizing that resilient societies are less vulnerable to extremist ideologies. A holistic approach, integrating human rights, 
and fundamental freedoms is essential for countering terrorism effectively. By respecting human dignity and promoting social justice, we can diminish, we believe, the appeal of extremism. Sri Lanka reaffirms its commitment to fighting terrorism while safeguarding fundamental freedoms and fostering peace. I extend my gratitude to the Chair and my fellow delegates for your commitment to this critical issue. Let us continue to work together, united in our resolve to combat terrorism and promote a peaceful, just, and secure world for all of us. Together, we can turn our discussions into action and create meaningful change in our collective pursuit of peace and security. Let's commit ourselves to walking away with the desired outcomes. Thank you, Madam Chair.